welcome back to my channel uh, my name is Tyra if you guys are new here uh, make sure you guys like comment and subscribe uh, so good morning y'all and happy Sunday um, it is currently like 9 40 and um, as I speak and I am on my way to Target um, today is my baby's first day of swimming lessons and I'm so excited but you know me um, being last minute per use um, I have to get him some swimming trunks so luckily his swim lesson doesn't start until 12 like I said it's like 9 it's 9 43 as I speak so I'm about to head to Target grab him some um, swimming trunks and I need to grab me some compression socks um, because if y'all don't know already, yes, your girl is expecting, uh, I am currently five, one on six months, and your girl ankles and feet have started to swell. Um, I had an appointment last week, uh, well, this week that just passed, um, this past Tuesday, and I spoke to my doctor about that, and she said it's, it's perfectly normal for that to happen and um around this time and <clears throat> i was only worried because y'all know when i was pregnant well i don't know if y'all know but i could have sworn i told y'all in one of those trimester updates but anyhow with my son i court preeclampsia um but she explained to me that mo most of the time preeclampsia usually comes like towards the end and you know first year it would be the first time would be like your blood, your blood pressure and stuff like that. And my blood pressure has been fine. It's been normal. So it's just, you know, a little extra fluid around my ankles and my feet and stuff. So, um, yeah. But anyway, yeah. Just got so sidetracked. But yeah, so I'm on my way to Target to get him some summer chunks. Then I'm going to go pick him up and... We're going to go ahead to his swimming lessons. His swimming lessons is like 30, maybe 45 minutes away. I don't know why, but yeah, y'all. So I just got this cute little um, I just got this cute little set. This shirt and his hat that my mom actually got me when she went on her cruise. This is one of the stops they went to, the Cayman Islands. And yeah, so, and I got some shorts on. But, yeah y'all, so, let me focus on driving and I'm gonna pick y'all back up in a sec when I get to Target, maybe. I may or may take y'all in there, I don't know, cause I'm only grabbing, um, like I said, the swimming trunks, try to find me some compression socks and yeah. So, who knows? We'll see. Hey, y'all. I'm back. I just came from out of Target. Sorry I didn't take y'all in there. Um, Target was actually an epic fail. It was, it, it's crazy. Hold on. Let me turn this air up. Y'all, it is hot. I don't know what the degrees is today, but it is hot. Considered, compared to all last week, it was just raining. Every day. It's 80 degrees right now, and it's supposed to go up to 85. With a 40% chance of rain and thunder and lightning. Oh my god. But yeah, so, um, sorry y'all. Target was an epic fail. Um, let me take this down because I parked in handicap. Just last week, I swear, I lie to you not, me and my son came in here. We picked up a few things and, um, they were fully stocked. I don't know what, I mean, I guess, I don't know. People dropping. But anyway, I was only able to find him two pairs of swimming trunks. I'm going to just have to either check out Old Navy or order him some more from Amazon or something. But, so they only had this pair, which is cute. It's colorful. They only had this one pair in his size that I can find. And then they had this set in his size that I can find. And I'm actually going to take the shirt leave the shirt and he can just wear the um the shorts so that was that then I just grabbed him an extra pair of little um tanks for him and I grabbed him these shorts because they were on sale 30% off so the original price was $10 I paid 7 so it wasn't bad 
and that's all I got. But sis, let's talk about it, sis. So they have a Starbucks in there, and um, I'm still fairly new to Starbucks because usually when I go, I get usually two things from Starbucks. That's either a refresher, which I either get the pineapple mango refresher, or I will get the dragon, the mango dragon fruit refresher, or I will get a crumble ribbon, a caramel ribbon crunch. Those are the only drinks that I usually get from Starbucks, and of course some of their breakfast stuff like the spinach feta wrap and um, a few of their sandwiches and stuff like that. But your girl went out the box, stepped out the box today, and I got me some of their. Uh, egg whites roasted pepper egg white bites this is my first time having theirs i usually have dunkin donut egg bites but that's my first time having starbucks and your girl today ordered a matcha so i got a matcha today i got it in grande because i'm not sure how it's going to taste but the way i ordered it i got a grande iced matcha with a scoop of vanilla bean powder i got four pumps of brown sugar with almond milk and then I got the vanilla sweet cream foam on top so this is how it looks <laughs> and so we're going to do a taste test I don't know if I need the straw or do I just okay well whatever let me, um, let me hurry up because y'all sitting in the sun and the way this camera be acting, y'all sitting in the sun too long, it's going to start to say y'all overheating. So, okay. Mm. It's not bad. I definitely get that earthy taste that the girls be talking about from the matcha. But I think the brown sugar, the vanilla bean powder, and the sweet cream foam, uh, you know, balances it out. It's good. I like it. I'll order it again here and there, but not an everyday thing. Yeah. Let's try these egg bites. I mean, I don't know how you can go wrong with egg bites, so. But you know what I forgot? Sriracha. Mm, there we go. The temperature is looking, um, simple. But yeah, y'all, so that was that. This is actually good. Not bad. Not bad. So, next stop is Sun Sun, and then we're going to be on our way to a swim lesson. I'm so excited. I'm nervous and excited. <gasps> That's what I forgot. I forgot to get his damn, a damn uh, towel for him. I mean, he has towels, but I want him to have a nice little towel. So, I see her. How was your first swim lesson? Did you have fun? Yeah, I had, I went to the, to the, to, to the pool. You went to the swimming pool? Mm hmm And did you have fun? Yeah, I got some toys. And, yeah, I told him if he did a good job and followed yep. directions, yep. we'd go get some toys. Yes, and I play nice. Yes. It is really hot. So he did really good. I'm so proud of him. We're yeah. going to come back again. Mommy, in my shoe. Okay, get it out. Yeah. 
We got yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, you want to come back and swim again? Yeah. Yeah? Did mm -hmm. you like it? Mm-hmm. What did you learn? What mm -hmm. did they say to do? They want to swim and bow in the water. Into my mouth and ask, like, like, like that. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> he did so good. I really didn't film. Hold on. Let's get in the car. Um. Ooh, sorry, y'all. Hold on. I didn't film um inside. I just got a few snippets of him because... Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Wait, wait, wait. Let me unlock the door. Can you pick up mommy paper? Where? Right there. Oh. Um, ooh. Shoot, girl. Hold on. Let me start the car so the air can start kicking in. Um, I really didn't film that much because... Waiting for pairing. You know, it was other children here. Paired. This was his first time, you know swimming there so I didn't want to I didn't want to feel uncomfortable or make anybody else feel uncomfortable and you know just people you know sometimes act funny with their children being recorded which is understandable so I just got a few snippets but. and then I went to the and then I got my party and, and then I went can I see mommy mm -hmm. and then I can't see the phone but I can see you and then, and I went to the fun, and then I got some, some snacks. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I went to the party, and I, and I got my birthday. <laughs> you got some cold water right there, too. And then, and then ice. Okay. <sighs> Yeah, so now I'm about to go get us some lunch and then yeah so I'll pick y'all back up in a few good morning y'all well good afternoon it is the next day and I'm hot I'm sweating I had the longest morning ever I've been on the phone with 10 different people making phone calls Y'all would not believe, after the perfect day I had today with my son taking from his first swim class and everything, y'all would not believe what happened to me. So, okay, yesterday, after his swim class and everything, I had to be to work at four. So, I went to work. I get off, I got off at 1.30 a.m. So, ooh. I get off, I'm coming home, I'm driving down the road, and I'm coming to a light that I have that's green on my end, and the crossroad has a red light. But as I'm coming through my light, which is green, a car is flying on the cross street and hits my car. Oh, uh, I was so frustrated. But first and foremost, I just wanted to be thankful. I'm so 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 thankful. Because it could have been a lot worse. I thank God my baby wasn't in the car because it was on his side that he was sitting. Like, I'm just so thankful. But it's so frustrating. It's so time consuming. It's time consuming. It's an inconvenience on both the parties part like because we're trying to both get to where we're going but he was in the wrong because he was flying down the street and then he had a red light um a young guy too so but neither here nor there but like i said i was on the phone with insurance company i had to go make a police report because the police never came taking forever um then i was on the phone with the accident lawyer I had to call my doctor because I'm overall, I'm fine. Me and the baby are fine. So that was another blessing. That was, you know, the best part of everything. Like the car can be replaced, but me and the baby are fine. 
Um, so yeah. So I didn't have to be rushed to the emergency room, which was a good thing. The baby is moving. And um, so yeah, the baby is fine. But I did go ahead and schedule an appointment just to go check up with my OBGYN. Um, and like they said on the phone, they'll do an ultrasound, check my cervix, and all of that good stuff. But yeah, y'all. So <clears throat> that is the night and morning that I had um, when I got home after getting my car towed. That was a whole nother thing. I had to pay the guy $200 to tow my car because... <clears throat> I don't know about how it is in other cities, but <laughs> these tow truck drivers, they be right there, like, as soon as you're in an accident. So, I guess it's first come, first serve, get the money. But anyway, make a long story short, I just wasn't comfortable with um, the guy taking my car to a shop. And I know that's how they get paid, but I just wasn't comfortable taking my car to a shop, which I'm not familiar with. And it was a quite a ways away, as well as... Um, I still have viable things in my car. So, for one, I don't know this shop. Then I'm about to leave you with my car and my keys. Anything can be taken out before it gets to the shop. And I'm not saying that he would have done that, but that's just how I was thinking. So, I had him tow my car, tow my car to my block, and we'll handle it that way. The insurance suggested we'll just have to come here and, you know, total it out. But anyway, so let me show y'all the damage. So... Right here, my airbags came out. My baby would have been sitting right there in his chair. Sorry, y'all. My car, it's a mess, but it's okay. But yeah, airbags deployed. And, oh. Shit, oh. This is the damage to my car. So my back bumper, my wheel, the axle under there. This whole door is, of course, not working. And yeah, this piece came off. I don't know what that goes to. It's probably part of the axle, but yeah. So. That whole side. Back side. And my baby would have been sitting on this side. So. <sighs> so yeah, y'all. So that's the morning and day that I'm having. Now I got to think about other things because the girl need a car. I'm going to need a car regardless. Um, so. And I guess that's a good thing because I've been saying I need to get a car. And, oh wait, am I zoomed in? I've been saying I want to get a new car, but i just been, you know, procrastinating, trying to save money, being cheap. Um, but I guess this calls for it. Sorry, y'all. I probably got this ugly angle of me. But yeah, so, that's how that goes. Mm. But yeah, y'all, so, yeah, that's the way that cookie crumbles. So, I'm about to go in here. I'm going to relax. I took the day off from work because I knew it was going to be a lot. And, yeah, so I'm going to go and chill. That's all I'm going to got to say for today. And, yeah, I'll pick y'all back up whenever. I don't know. Bye.